right. Remember last time we were here? I came down and took all the um, wild garlic uh, flower bulbs off. Well, they've all flowered. The flowers have all fallen off and all the garlic leaves have gone and all we're left with is the seeds. This is the one of the best ingredients of the year. Really is. It's bloody hard work preparing them. But these need salted and pickled in a few weeks or months time. They'll be absolutely amazing on steaks and fish. Absolutely stunning ingredient. Well worth well worth the labour. But as I say it's hard work picking them. See they're everywhere look just gently pull them off. That's it, wild garlic seeds, capers, whatever you want to call them. Fantastic ingredient. Right, awesome. Check that out. Lots and lots of hand-picked wild garlic seeds. Okay, I'll just show you this while while I'm driving past. This is, uh, I can identify this now as uh, Sweet Sicily. There's all the little uh, seed pods on the top. Maybe try to take them home and try and plant them. But there's the Sweet Sicily leaf. It's got little white blotches on the flowers, on the uh, leaves. And the biggest giveaway of the lot smells really strong. Aniseed, beautiful smell. There you go. So look, there's the leaves, there's the white blotches. I was a little bit worried in case I'd picked um, uh, the poisonous one, hemlock, but after a little bit of research, there's the stems, no red blotches, hemlock's got red blotches on, seed heads, um, there's the little flowers, but biggest giveaway, white blotches on the leaves, so, and the aniseed smell, so that's definitely sweet Sicily. I'll try and get some in the garden. So I'll plod on with these. I've had enough for one day, so I'll do these all tomorrow. Take all the little bits of dead bits out. Bits of leaves, black ones. Then we'll clean them all up and salt them. Right. It's taken me three hours, maybe even longer, to do all these. Absolute nightmare. I won't do it again next year. Three hours of my life wasted. So all the stalks have been taken off. All the crap taken off, thrown away. And we should have some nice clean seeds there. Everything's been washed. And then the seeds have gone into here, that's the wall, and get some uh, mould and sea salt, crush it all up, and then make sure everything is covered in sea salt, and I'll put it into a container and put it into the fridge so it can cure for maybe two or three weeks in the sea salt. Um, this helps it last much longer once it's pickled. You wash all the salt off and uh, try to put it into jars. We'll check it, we'll, everything will go in the fridge now and then we'll check again in two weeks, see, how it's, see what it's like, the curing process. 
Okay, so four weeks after they were picked. There you go. Brined in a uh, salt solution. And they've just been sat there like that in the fridge for four weeks. They're very um very salty, so we need to wash this off. Um wash it all off and then we'll get get them pickled. So there you go. Cold water. I just give them a good rinse. Get all the salt washed off. Then we'll dry them. Wash all the salt off. Get them dried and then we'll get them pickled. Simple. So the cape is now the wild garlic seeds all being washed, all the brines, all the salt's gone off them. And now I'm just going to spread them on this sheet and take them outside, put them in the sun for 10-20 minutes, and they'll all dry off. You can pickle them. Okay, so one litre of mixed vinegars, some uh, granulated sugar, not a lot because I don't want it too sweet and some yellow mustard seeds. I'm just adding these for a little bit of a, a kick. Not much. I'll do. Put a tablespoon there. Heat on. Bring it to the boil. Uh, and that's it. Right, it's come to a boil. The sugar's all dissolved, so I'll knock it off now and uh, leave that to cool. Here's the wild garlic. I've dried it outside in the sun for 15 20 minutes. Pick some rosemary and some bay leaves, young bay leaves and I'll put those in the jar just to add a few interesting notes okay I'm gonna do one just as an example jar some rosemary a sprig of rosemary That bay leaf and some garlic. Just spoon it all in. Let's take that down the side. Top it all up right to the top and it'll be ready for the vinegar when the vinegar cools down okay so that's ready for the vinegar so bottle in give it a stir up 
and top it with vinegar. It's as simple as that. Got in a few mustard seeds in each jar. That's why I'm stirring it while I'm uh, pouring it. There you go. One, two, three. Done. So there you go. One, two, three, four, five, six jars. Is it worth it? We went out, got all the little pods, picked all the pods, took all the stalks off. It took hours and hours to get the stalks off and the seeds. Then uh, left them in salt for four weeks. Um, washed them all off. Now we've got them in a pickle, pickle in solution. And that'll stay in the jars now for a month before we can eat them. So after all that, it's very, very labour intensive. You can't buy them in the shops. Was it worth it? Would I do it again next year? Probably not. But um, I'm going to make these lot last for a while. So this is my little treasure. Used very sparingly with meat, lamb, fish, pasta, butter. Until next year, that's the end of the wild garlic season.